Hi, welcome to this week's quick tip. And today we're going to talk about geocoding addresses. Now, Spotfire has automatic geocoding and certain geocoding tables in it, but it doesn't automatically geocode addresses. So for that, we created a special data function that you can use. And for this, you'll need a TIPCO GeoBuilder API key. And you can get one of those by contacting us at drspotfire at tipco.com. It's a key you can purchase from TIPCO and you can get a free trial to try out this data function uh, however you like. Now these data functions, just as a reminder, are available on our community in the data function library. I'm gonna put a link to that in the video description at the bottom, and you can download all kinds of data functions for your use, uh, totally free, they're in Python and R. So now for example, I'm looking at a data set in Spotfire on hospital locations in Boston. And you can see that I have the name, address, zip code, city, state, and country, but I don't have the latitude and longitude coordinates, so I can't really plot these specifically where they belong on a map. Now, what I can do is I can go to just my map and use Spotfire's automatic geocoding tables, which include a actual latitude and longitude coordinates. So this has automatically grabbed geocoding tables from my library, and if I go to settings, uh, I can see in my positioning that it pulled in the geocoding hierarchy for zip codes, states, and cities. Now, I want to actually do this on zip codes so we can see this a little bit better. Uh, this is a little bit of manual tweaking that I'm going to do to the automatic geocoding. And so I'm going to remove the cities, I'm going to remove the states, and I have this U.S. zip codes table. Uh, I'm going to automatically match this with city. So my right column from my USA zip codes table is going to be city. And this is in caps, so I'm going to actually convert this to a upper case so that it matches. And then what I need to do is match the state as well. And this state is in two letters there, so I'm going to use my state's FIPS alpha. I'm going to match that. Now, in Spotfire, I can actually go and I can see these are these hospital locations on a map based on zip code. So we have a whole ta we have a whole video out there on how geocoding works, automatic geocoding works in Spotfire. This is just a little introduction to let you know that you'll get these automatic geocoding tables uh, for some basic uh, locations. But again, I want latitude and longitude coordinates. So how can I get that? I'm gonna use my data function here, which is my geocoder. So location geocoder data function. And here I need to have a TIPCO API key. And I already put one of those in as a document property. I could just enter it as a value if I wanted it there, but I have it as a document property. So I'm gonna enter that in. So it refers to my document property. I need a country code. Now you may not have country code in your table. You can just add a calculated column with your country code for all of your uh, locations if they're all in the same country like US for uh, the US country. That's what I did here and I added a country for uh, a country column for my country code. And the very minimum you need is a zip code as well. Uh, and this will find the latitude and longitude coordinates for um, the different zip codes of just the country zip code and uh, that's it. But I want a little bit more granular. So I'm gonna go into my optional parameters and I'm gonna give it my street address. So for my hospital locations table, I'm gonna grab address. I'm also gonna give it city. So here I'm gonna grab city. And for state, I'm gonna grab state. This is just gonna help it locate my, my actual locations by address a little bit more specifically. So I'm gonna hit okay, and this is gonna now run the geocoding data function. And this geocoder is gonna reach out to a REST API service, and it's gonna give me a whole table list, which we can look at in our data canvas, has latitude and longitude coordinates, also has country, zip, city, state. So all I need to do is take this back to my hospital locations data set, and I'm gonna add this as columns uh, from my original data table. I'm gonna go other, and I'm gonna grab it from my output table, and my settings for added columns. We add zip code, city, state, country, and I also wanna add the address as the match here. So now we have the address as a match. Uh, the columns I'm gonna bring over is just my latitude and longitude columns and I'm gonna hit okay and okay. And now we have latitude and longitude coordinates for this data table. I can go back into this, this map and go to my hospital location settings. And now in positioning, I can change this to the latitude and longitude coordinates that I just calculated. 
So longitude goes first. I don't want an average. I don't want to aggregate that. Latitude comes second. I'm going to put the latitude in. I don't want to aggregate that. And now we have the actual hospital locations on their latitude and longitude coordinates. Now, what if I want to go the other way? What if I have the latitude and longitude coordinates, but I want to get the actual addresses from it? So what we can do is actually do this the other way. I'm going to have my columns to automatically add these columns so you can see these as I work through this data. So we have this latitude and longitude table. So what we're going to do to go the other way is actually use the reverse geocoder. This is the location reverse geocoder. And once again, you need a TIPCO API key, which again, you can get from uh, contacting us at drspotfire at tipco.com or askdatascience at tipco.com. And here I'm going to enter in a value. I'm going to just tie this to a document property. Let's say OK there. Now I need to give it a latitude column. So for my hospital locations, I'm going to give it my latitude column. For my hospital locations, I'm going to then give it my longitude column. And I'm going to hit OK. And now this is going to reach out to the REST API service and it's going to look at each of those individual latitude and longitude points and it's going to come back with another output table. This is output table two, which has a whole bunch of information here. So the output table two, based off our latitude and longitude, we're getting the city, the country, the entire address, the level, uh, the score of how confident it is that it found the right address. The state, state code, street, street name, street number, street type, zip code, all kinds of stuff here. So if I add this back into my original table, let's get a side by side comparison here. So here I'm going to grab my output table two and for settings for out for uh, added columns, I'm going to just use my latitude column and I'm going to use my longitude column. Because again, this is what I use as the inputs for my reverse geocoder. And then it's going to give me all of this, this, these other attributes in return. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to hit OK. And now we can see uh, if I actually close this map chart and we can see the entire address, resize columns of fit. We can see that I have Morden Street, Brookline Avenue, that's matching from my original data set. This has returned from those latitude and longitude columns, Parker Hill, Parker Hill, River Street, River Street. It's actually found the actual addresses for these. And remember, you also have the street ID and street number uh, as well. So if you want to add those in there. So this is a way that you can get better location data from your data set if you don't have latitude and longitude coordinates and you want address and you want to get those from addresses or if you want to go the other way around and you want to get uh, address information from latitude and longitude coordinates. Thanks for joining this video and we hope to catch you next time. Be sure to check out that data function library on the TIPCO community and be sure to subscribe for more Spotfire quick tips.